What we're going to look at now is how we change material, whether that goes from colour to colour or material type to material type. So that's going to involve us heating up the nozzle, taking out the material and then reloading in a different kind. For us to change materials, what we're going to do is go into the materials menu and then at the top section here we have change material. Okay. And what it's going to do is we're going to unload the existing spool and then we're going to load in a new spool. So we're going to go from the start changing material. And yes, we're still loaded with PLA and we're going to be loading it with the same material. So yes, that's okay. It's going to start to heat up the nozzle. What we're going to do is we're going to lift the lever here. That's then going to allow us to pull the material back. Be very careful with this. We don't need to spiral out of control. So as we pull this out here, make sure we keep hold. What we can then do is as we pull it off the back of the machine, and then we can locate it through here and make sure we have that stored properly. So we're going to get the other spool out of packaging. So what we've done with this is because this has been on the machine previously, we've stored this in a Ziploc bag and we also have some silica gels that are in there which come within the packaging. So just to make sure that the material doesn't degrade in any way while we're not using the machine. So we're going to pull that out of there and then we're just going to reverse that process. We're going to cut the material on a 45 degree angle and then what we're going to do is place that onto the back of the machine. We're then going to just straighten that out ever so slightly, bearing in mind the lever is still up here. Then what we're going to do is reload that material in as we did with the load up and push that all the way through to the top of the machine. And then allow us to go through the extrusion settings at the front of the machine. So now we've got the material loaded, we can press OK on here and then it's then going to kick in the feeder and then we'll get the extrusion from the nozzle. As you can see, we've got the silver material coming through here and it's now starting to transition to the green that we've just loaded. One of the key things that you want to make sure you have here is a nice steady stream of green material that comes out before we press OK, just to make sure that we're going to get a nice consistent colour. So what we have here now is the green coming through. So we're then just going to select material is extruding and that's us ready to go with our new material loaded. If you want to just unload the material, you can use that by selecting the unload rather than the change material section and always make sure that you store your materials correctly so that they don't degrade and they're ready for you to use next time you want to fire up the machine.